Letitia, where is your self-esteem at? Because the way you let Marceau treat you is just really ridiculous. And I really feel bad for you. And this is coming from someone that don't even like you. Like, where is your dignity? Where is your pride? Where is your self-love? Because it's clear that you don't possess any of those things that I just named. Let's just drop the beat. Alright you guys, I'm up at 3 o'clock in the morning though. But what's going on? This be your boy Scott by Nature TV. And we're here for another review of Love and Marriage Huntsville, okay? Now let's get right on into it. Let's get right on into it now. Uh, we start over from last week, okay? Um, After Destiny told Tiffany that she was going to drag her in all three places that, you know, Tiffany named. Which I would have been all for it because Tiffany deserved to get drugged. All she ever does is run her fucking mouth and keep up bullshit. That's all she she ever does and I'm sick of it. I'm completely sick of her in her mouth. Period. She always got something to say. Um, so Kimmy brings up to Maurice that um, Tiffany spoke to them about what was said to them by Lewis on the basketball court. And you know Kimmy doesn't think that that should have been that information should have been brought back. That's facts. So Tiffany tells Lewis that Destiny threatened to drag her. And she should have been threatening to drag you. Instead of threatening you, she should have just drug your fucking ass, okay? Because you are messy as fuck. And then you want to sit up here and make it seem like somebody just picking on you. No, you've been very antagonistic and condescending and messy since you've been in this situation. So, if whatever destiny give your ass, you deserve it, bitch. Really. You fucking deserve it because you can't shut the fuck up. You always run your fucking mouth. Just shut the fuck up for real. I'm sick of hearing your mouth. You and this Karen ass shit. You and this Kathy bullshit. You and this Alyssa bullshit that you got going on. I'm gonna need for you to stop it. Stop acting like you innocent in this situation because you fucking not, okay? Whatever, however Destiny feels about you, you brought that on yourself the moment you brought up that LaBerry shit at her fucking brunch, okay? So you brought that on yourself. Don't nobody feel bad for you. Shut the fuck up. So then Destiny and Melody have a conversation. Mainly about Tiffany. And um, Melody just wants to know what's the issue between Destiny and Tiffany. Destiny says that uh, Tiffany always running her mouth. She's always saying stuff when she don't need to be saying it. And then every time somebody confronts her about it, Mel is always the first person that wants to play Super Save a Ho and save her. Melody doesn't feel like she does that, but girl, you do that. And I'm going to need you to stop stepping in whenever Destiny want to get up in her ass. As, as if Tiffany don't deserve it. You're always defending Tiffany. Always defending Tiffany. And I'm going to need you to shut the fuck up. For real. Because you've been looking out for Tiffany way more than you've been looking out for your so-called friend, Destiny. And you've been pissed at Destiny ever since Destiny did not tell you about that fucking divorce right away. Okay? So that's what you're really mad at. So stop trying to play me and everybody else and act like you ain't got no problem. Because you got one. You stay defending Tiffany. But then, you know, Mel feels like Destiny is jealous of her friendship with Tiffany and thinks that... um. Tiffany is going to um, replace her and she ain't got nothing to worry about. Oh, she got something to worry about, honey. So then, um, Tisha informs Marceau of the conversation that Tiffany brought to her and the girls about what Lewis brought to her about what Marceau said about her. And they start having this conversation about, you know, the cheating rumors and how she do be feeling some type of insecurities about how he's never around when it's her and the kids and things of that nature. You know, and I understand that, you know, um, Marceau was working a lot so he's really focused on the money and getting his shit together for the family. But there are things that Tisha wants out of the marriage. She do wants to do things together as a family. Not just her and the kids, but her her, Marceau, and the kids. And that's just, that's perfectly fine. You know what I mean? I don't agree with, with Tisha on a lot of stuff, but that's perfectly fine. Like, if I was married to somebody or whatever, and whether or not I had the kids or not, because, you know, me, I don't want any kids. But someone that I talk to actually has a kid. So it's like, you know, if they wanted to me to do something with their kid, then that's cool. You know what I mean? Like, we married, you want to do something with the kid, that's fine. You know what I'm saying? So it is what it is. I totally understand it. So, but my son ain't trying to hear that. He's never trying to hear it. Ne next thing you know, Tisha and Tiffany clear the air. Tiffany asked uh, Tisha, is she fine? And Tiffany said that, and, and Tisha said that she was fine. Uh, you know, Tisha tells Tiffany and Lewis that she wanted to surprise Marceau with a vow renewal, but she just had this conversation with Marceau and he don't want to do nothing like that. He just want to do something with just her 
and um and not the rest of them. But Tiffany and Lewis convinces her to go ahead and do it anyway. Big mistake. The woman just told you she talked to her man about it already and he don't want to do it. But y'all gonna tell her to do it anyway. Messy as fuck. Okay, so it's the last night. They get on the bus and the girls discuss their night out. There was some lap dances going on. There was some wardrobe malfunctions. There was a whole lot going on. Melody tells um, Martell that he looks nice. He do. Martell is fine as fuck to me. I'm sorry. Toxic, but fine as fuck. He just can't dress. But that one time, he did look good. Um, they go to a wedding chapel. Uh, Marceau is not here for this wedding chapel shit. He is not here for it at all. Um, you know, he... Um, but yeah, um, he's not here for it at all. Um... You know, he's just like, I don't want to do this and all of this other stuff. So, everybody's trying to convince him to do it, but he just doesn't want to do it. And Tisha looks embarrassed as fuck. Lewis and Tiffany go on and renew their vows. Marceau just doesn't care how he makes Tif uh, Tisha feel. Like, he's straight up making her look stupid. And Tisha just sitting up here taking it. Melody called Marceau out on the bullshit, basically saying it's fucked up how he couldn't just get up in front of everybody and declare his love for her. I agree. If you didn't want to do the vows, you could have just declared your love for her. Um, Melody checks on Tisha and she tells Tisha the same thing that she said in front of everybody else. So, I may not care for Melody at this point, but I do understand where she's coming from. Then they got the last dinner. Kimmy brings up marriage and brings up how she was with, how everybody celebrated uh, Melody and Martell's 10 year. Now they celebrating Tisha and uh, Marceau's. 15 year. So it's like Melody is annoyed because everybody keeps on bringing up the fact that her and Martell will never get back together. People do got to let that go. Somebody keep, um, somebody told me that, that, one of my exes told me that their family wants me to get back with him. Baby, we, we ain't been together in almost 11 years now. I don't want to be back with you and I don't want to deal with you or your fucking family, okay? I'm friends with your brother and that's it. I don't want to be, no, so stop it. People just don't know when to let shit go. Um, Martel says he may get married again, um, and it might be with Melody, but Melody said, does he not realize that he fucked up, pretty much? Um, Marceau confronts Lewis. Lewis didn't back down, though, but he did say, I don't feel like I should be, I should, my wife should be telling me something that I told you, you know what I mean? But at the same time, Marceau, you don't know Lewis like that. You just met him, so why are you divulging anything personal with him? And Tiffany, shut the fuck up, let the man talk. Um, and, but he also admits depression. Marceau, um, Marceau admits to depression or whatever. Um, and I kind of feel bad for him, but I, that could be the reason why he treating t Tisha a certain type of way. I honestly don't fucking know, to be honest, but I guess we'll get more into it. So he di basically diagnosed himself with depression. And that's sad, though. But with that being said, y'all, this is my review on Love and Marriage Channel's video. Be sure to like, rate, comment, and subscribe. Also, if you want to be notified for a video, just click that notification bell. If you want to follow me on social media, my Twitter and my IG will be down below in the description box. If you want me to follow you back on IG, just DM me. Hashtag Team Scotty, and I definitely follow you back. I do follow back. With that being said, you guys, I'm out of here until my next video. I'll holler at you later. Peace out. We can always find our way to a fun moment, even in the shady bunch.